Yes. What's up, YouTube? I got that gameplay for you. Okay, guys, this video is going to be on a little bit of redstone and um, a couple of piston doors. Now, these piston doors do work on Xbox. I actually did a tutorial on one of these doors a while ago, a long time ago on my old channel. And I wanted to do another one because a couple of those doors you've seen in the other video I did, you were like, how do you build that? I want to build some piston doors on Xbox. These doors do work on Xbox. But, okay, to the redstone. This is an inverter. This is what you use to keep your doors closed. Um, when you're building piston doors, you want them to stay closed, right? Well, this is how, this is what it is. This is an inverter. It's just a torch on the side of a block. And this will be the positive side. And this right here will be the negative side. This is what you would run into, like, the other inverter you would set up on the other side. You know, actually go right there. And then you would set a torch on that side, like that. And then you would run it off to the next set of pistons you got on the other side to keep both doors closed. Um, this right here is a repeater. This is what you would use if you don't have repeaters, like, and you need to make the cord, you know, stretch longer. Like, you know, this was 15 because, you know, it only goes 15, as you can see. You know, if I place another one down and put the piston down, it's not going to work. You know, it's not going to make it run anymore. They, they only go 15 long. So if you wanted to go longer than 15, you would make one of these. But this is a bitch because it's three long because of the torch on the end and it's too high because of the torch that sits on top. So that's a problem. So most people, the easier way is to make two inverters like that. And then you just come off, you know, to the positive side and then you would just put you another one down, make another inverter and then run that to wherever you want. And that will like cut the power off like this would be the negative side running into it off of whatever and that would cut it off and then run into another one which would turn it back into poly would run turn it back on you know what I mean it would switch it back and forth so you just make you a couple inverters to make it stretch longer you could do that you know if you wanted the damn redstone to go 200 if you wanted it to but damn that's a lot um, but on to the doors um, a couple of you guys want to know about the doors so this is how you build the doors um, if you want to go like a three high door on Xbox like bam 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 we'll put those blocks there and then those blocks will open up to there and let's see here we would want the pistons on this side right here which would be the arm it stretch out to there am i right am i right no i'm wrong would be out one more even though i'm fucking up let me go like that and then there's your little three high door which will close and everything will be fine yes they will close there yes 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 so what we're going to do is we're going to put a torch right there that's going to activate the two bottom ones like so and then you're going to put a block over that torch on both sides, which will activate the second ones. And then you'll get another piece of redstone on top of the block. Activate all three. Bam. Done. See how easy that is? Very compact. There's your, a piston door on the side of a mountain or your house. And we will just cut out these right here. We cut out the whole bottom, really. Um, because from the start of the pistons, you just hack them out. Um, Y'all seen me do this in the video I was blabbing the other night. Um, just make you a little way for your uh, pressure plates go like this um, actually we gotta come off the piston from behind the torch like so actually oh gotta go down we go up into there and now we just make a nice little uh, piston for the pressure plates bam done we get out some dirt and we cover it up pretty much going underground you always gotta dig down too deep cause you don't want to cut anything off you know so keep it like that and then we just cover this up like so we'll put some pressure plates down bam works just fine get some more grass cover that all up and we're good and you just set your two pressure plates on this side opens up on both sides very quick no no lag or anything like that so it closes really fast I like that you can just sprint right through the door without it worrying about running into it you know because some doors are a little bit slower but that's a very compact version of a piston door it's really simple and all this right here and then you know this little parts would be covered up because of course you're gonna you know build a wall around it or whatnot like that and you know do, to do that on both sides you'd have that all done so very easy nice simple way compact piston door you know there's not a lot of redstone running or wiring to be done now some people don't want their doors inside like that they actually want a flush door you know that looks like that so let's make one of those real quick 
Alright, we will build this door right over here. So we are going to start off with some stickies. We're going to put four sticky pistons down like that. And we're going to put two in front of it. So then we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. Wait a minute. Push those out. No, one back one. Like that. And we're going to put that right there like that. Oh, wait a minute. Out too far, right? Damn. So I was right like that and one right there push that into there push that one into there so yeah okay we got it we got it just like that and then whatever you want to build with um put that right there so that's going to be our, our building blocks whatever you want to build with but actually you know what I'll just I'll save it for that we'll put those in last okay um you got that let's go around to the back side um starting right here at the piston we're going to cut down one and then two for the rest of the way and then one just like that so like for every once you get to the end of the piston just one we're gonna put a torch in like that put a torch on this side we're gonna run redstone all down through there like that and then we'll get a repeater we're gonna put it right next to the piston we're gonna set that on full delay we're gonna put a piston on the other side on full delay and then we're gonna do a little stairway just like that and you'll put one piece of redstone on the front front block and then we'll go over here make a little stairway redstone on the front block and then we're gonna put two blocks one right above the torch one right in front of it we're gonna come up here and we're gonna put one thing of redstone down one repeater and then we are gonna go up one and back and then over one and back and then we will wire this up with redstone all across it just like that and now you are pretty much done all you have to do is your pressure plates so let's do our pressure plates like that we will come off like that one and then let's go out I know this one is a bit longer so we'll come off like this and go back um let's see here where is that gonna extend out to hopefully not too damn far so We'll find out here in a second. Put our pressure plates down. All kicks on. Bam. So now we just put our building blocks, whatever we wanted to use, just like that. And we're good. There's your door. All finished. Nice flush door with the wall. You know, you can build it in a mountain or whatnot. And, you know, it looks like the damn mountain. So it will be concealed I guess besides the pressure plates you know unless you want to carry a fucking pressure plate around with you like a damn MasterCard um, and throw it down whenever you need it so let's uh, put this up and that right there there we go still working just fine and like if you you could run a button off of this if you wanted to it's just you would have to do it like um, you know you would have to don't run it off of this little section right here because then it will fuck it all up and it won't work so you'd have to like cut down and run it this way and then up or whatever however you wanted to do it no problem easy fix so there you go oh shit I'm stuck in I swear get on through there like that and uh, I've got some more redstone doors that I'm working on I'm trying to get them over to Xbox pretty much is what I'm trying to do uh, like I said, I probably will be on Xbox tomorrow trying to incorporate some stuff, but this is a bit of a request. Someone want to know how to do a lava drawbridge or a lava bridge in front of their house. So pretty much what you're going to do is just hack out your area however big you want it. Um, want to go down, want to go two down. It's like anything else that you do just about, you know, any kind of redstone work that you're going to be hiding underground, you're going to want to do two down of course because you got to cover up the ground to cover all your work up so we'll just hack this out like this this is we'll make it this big get all this hacked out cut all this out all right so wherever your little lava bridge is wherever your door is at or whatnot so we'll put our pistons down um say what about right here that look good that look good actually well that's uneven I don't like that. See, it's got to be even, even though it's not for anything in particular. It's still got to be even. I'm just weird about that. I like to be symmetrical. So there we go. Nice and evened up now. So we will keep adding our pistons. 
Why don't I just fly? I'm just hopping around like a dumbass. So, okay. Got our pistons in. Actually, uh, do we want it to come all the way out? Or we can just... Nah, we'll just put something there. So, okay, this is what we're going to do. You're going to lay your pistons down like so. You just slap you some repeaters behind them. This is really easy and simple. This is not hard at all. Just throw your pistons down, your repeaters down behind them like that. However big you need your trench or whatnot. And then you just get your redstone out. And you wire it all up. Just all on one little circuit right here. So there we go. We're all wired. Like this will be the... Uh, let's see here. Well, yeah, we'll just keep it going. Why not? You can choose which side you want your your switch to be on so really easy and simple not a problem this is not a hard how to do most people can figure this out but some guy asked so I'm more than happy to oblige just like that and we're gonna run I don't know a switch off like right about here looks good to me so we'll do that actually we'll just damn it put it like that and then we will put a block over top like that. So when you get to your house, you don't want mobs or anyone to follow you. There you go. That pops up like that. So now we're just going to get our redstone out. Or not our redstone. We'll just fill all this in like this. I like the retractable ones myself, which a little bit more work to be done. and take a little bit more than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So bam, there we go. Raise it up like that. Now how however far you like you want it out, um we'd probably have to move our switch back, but so like you know, you just come out and you make your little area wherever you're at, you know what I mean? Um so at least say three wide. Really doesn't even matter. You just come out like that. Fill that in. And you're pretty much, you're done. Um, so let's move this back one. Cover it back up. Oh, wrong spot. There we go. Still works just fine. And we do that right there. And you just fill it up with lava. Get your lava buckets out. Like, this was for a uh, guy I wanted to know he was on Xbox. He was like, how do you make it on Xbox? I, this is how I actually made mine on Xbox. It was really, really easy. No hard work. So you just fill it all up with lava. Get get all your shit in there. And then, you know, whenever you want to come across, just hit the switch. We will put that right there. And see, like, this would be where you were coming from. Actually, no, wait a minute. I think I did that backwards. I should have put the switch on this side. But you can make a little jump, whatever. If you don't want to jump, you know, you can just leave that and then use that to close down. You'd have an area to walk out to. No one can make that jump. It's too damn far. They're still going to fall in lava. So, like, there would be walls here, of course, you know, coming up so no one can just walk around your shit, of course. You know, hell. And then you just raise up your bridge. So, that's easy. But that was a request. But I hope you like the doors. Um, Like I said before, I did the doors on my old channel a uh, while back and... I just felt like redoing them because a couple of people were asking about how to make piston doors still, you know. And I was like, I got a tutorial, man. Go watch it. And some of them were like, can't find it. So just felt like throwing the doors back up and doing a little bit of redstone. Um, I got a lot more redstone stuff to do. So any requests, just leave them in the comments, man, and I will gladly try and help you out. Um, like I said, I'm no redstone master by no means, you know, I'm still, I'm still learning stuff every day. So hopefully you liked the video. If you liked it, give it a like. It is always appreciated and it helps me out. But if not, hey, you know the deal. Do what you do. But you know the deal. So peace and take it easy.